Well, tonight, a long-standing Baltimore Art Museum is sharing some new information about its namesake. WJZ is live in Mount Vernon. Paul Gessler is right outside Walter's Art Museum, where its leadership today published findings about the collector's support for Confederate causes. Paul. Nicole, that museum report says William and Henry Walters not only supported the Confederacy during the war, but long after it as well. Their business success depended heavily on slavery also. The museum director says the institution had a social responsibility to publicize this. Baltimore's Walters Art Museum is free to all and now free of a burden. We are not approaching this work as a kind of gotcha moment. Executive Director Julia Marciari Alexander says they've been researching the Walters history for eight years. The philanthropists who left their collection to the city, the museum says, supported the Confederacy. History is not one and done. It isn't, it isn't one narrative replacing another narrative. It's expanding the narratives that we tell. I think it's a great strategy to be on the offensive to say this is the past and this is where we're heading in the future. Humanities future professor Dr. Coco Zaditu Selassie says institutions reckoning with racist past is liberating. In December, Johns Hopkins revealed its founder and namesake owned slaves. But the only difference is now is in its nominalization. People are naming that this is the history. The history always existed. This is the work that we as a city need to be doing in order to move forward and to create a world that doesn't keep repeating its own history. The Walters says it has a social responsibility to address its past and is planning public programs with more local artists. The name will stay. By having the name there, it allows us to confront and requires us to confront and talk about and think about our history. Now, with its reopening on Wednesday at 25% capacity, Walters announced it's raising its minimum wage to $15 an hour for full-time employees, $13 an hour for part-time. Reporting live in Mount Vernon tonight, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.